all my high level organizers get excited because we're gonna be turning this into this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. It is finally time for some cord management. I was waiting to get all my ducks in a row. The dose are set up, the MP10, radion lights, everything's in here. It's a freaking disaster. Like, how's it going? I, I ordered some stuff on Amazon. I'm not gonna lie, it's been, you know, sitting here in my cupboard for like a month and a half. I just haven't had time to get to it. But now I'm ready because the cables are out of control and I just can't handle it anymore. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday, other random stuff throughout the week. If you like that, go watch them. If not, just stick around on Fridays. Tank's a little cloudy because I just finished uh, swapping my Kemi Pure Elite. I finally put that Kemi Pure Blue in there to see if that helps a little bit with the phosphates. Other than that, we're popping off per usual. Let's see what we're working with down here. This is my cable disaster. I know, it's literally horrendous. The funny thing is, you wouldn't think that this cord system would belong to someone with mild OCD, but here we are. I got this bag of 100 stickies and uh, tie wraps. I think it was like seven bucks or eight bucks or something. I, I literally bought this just for the MP10 quiet drive. Then I got a little light, which we're gonna do first, that sticks on the top here because it's so dark in here, you can't see anything. We got a solid little cable tidy, blacked out, so I could put the cables in here and then put the reef link on top of here, so that way it's kind of like one little compact package. Sticky pads, so that I could put up my little guy up here on the wall. That's it, that's all the goods. Oh, it's a three pack. It's literally been so long since I ordered this stuff that I don't even remember what I got. Oh, and it comes with little 3M stick pads already. I only buy the good stuff. Again, I gotta find batteries. Two new, two other ones. Does it work? It does not. Woo! Oh, pretty nice. We're gonna stick this one right here. Put it to auto. Let's see if it shuts off and then if it opens when I open the door. Cause that would be super clutch. I don't know how long it stays on. Oh, there it goes, it's off. Tell me this works. Oh, snap. We out here with the high tech vibes. Auto lights and shit, come on, come on. I'm more hype about this like $6 light than anything in here. All right, all right, let's 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 keep it moving. Let's, let's open up our cord organizer here. I saw these, I wasn't sold on them, and then I bought it anyway. I have cables coming from the back that go up into the tank and then also to the front here. For the radion lights, just have them pop out of here and then come here like this. And then I guess for the doser, it would just be backwards, come out of here and then just like a straight line on the ground. And then the, the power strip should fit in here. Tank cleared up already, nice. Oh wait, my light shut off. Ah, uh, sick. Let's start break down here. I don't know if I could get these all the way to the ground. If I can, that would help. Can. That's good. See, I kind of had them in like circles, but it's just too much. Too much sauce. This is sketchy. All right, I think I gotta kill the lights. Two down. If I put this guy here, I'll still be able to control him. He won't be in the way of the, the doser, and then I could run this wire along the back. Let's do that. This was another solid Amazon purchase. This is the piece. All right, I'm gonna got all these for activities. It was made for this. Man, this is super sticky. One-handed, send it. Nice. Then we get this guy. Come on, come on. I got it, I got it guys, I got it. Try not to touch the sticky pad like I did. What do you think? Send it. It's just a sticky, right? <laughs> oh, that is nice. A little knobby knob action right here. And then it's a good thing I bought a freaking 100 pack of these. I put these here and I left the tie wrap loose because my goal was not to secure this here because if I want to do this, I still want to be able to pull the wire from the back. That one's a little rough, but you know, you see I'm still getting wire here. So that I can move it forward, backwards, whatever I want to do, if I want to put it back up here. 
like that and then just push this through. I probably won't be taking it off the wall, but I could if I wanted to. I think we gotta go to the good old power brick. This one is the Eco Smart. Come on. Let's get him out of here. We got a mess going on over here. I'm trying to do this without unplugging the, at least the doser because I don't want that to reset. That would be real shitty. All right, and I did check this fits in here real nice. Oh, okay, hold on, I didn't think this part through. Oh my goodness, everything is always such a mess in the middle. The only thing missing from the plug is the reef link. Obviously, you always wanna make sure like all your connections are in and secure. I mean, maybe you don't, but I do. I like to just make sure everything is good to go. I still have to have the wires from the drives of the Ecotex running back through. I tried to keep the wires running on the side so they weren't interfering with the actual plugs themselves lined in there, sort of. It is a real tight space. I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is perfect because this did not go as planned, like everything on my channel. Closed up and then, oh, I can't even open it now. Of course I can't open it to show you. Oh my god. I'm kind of just moving the, the cords that are coming in and out. I'm just moving them and making sure like obviously that nothing is pinched or or too, too like tight back there. Now this guy, I'm thinking we'll sit right on top. This guy can go. Nothing's pushing on my light cables too bad. I could always tilt these a little bit, but I kind of like them straight. I didn't like that little bundle of cords behind the Ecotec boxes. So I'm going to just push it out the back and then I'm gonna strap it under the shelf here and see if that cleans it up a little bit. Yeah, like look at all that. Oh, freaking disaster. I don't like, I don't like all this. You see the act of doing this actually isn't that bad, but the fact that it's in the tightest little spots sucks. Can't do jack shit in here. I did it. That was literally awful. I got it done anyway. That's just my power cord. I don't really care. That one could be kind of whatever because it's a tight spot against the outlet. So I kind of just like tucked him over here. I don't want to like strap him down or anything. He'll be, he'll be good. I got these guys all circled up up there. Much cleaner here. Hold on, you can't see. Hey oh, The wires just come straight out of the boxes. They drop down and then back up all all along this. That was exhausting, but it looks clean. Got the nice little eco tech here. I gotta plug in the, uh, I gotta plug back in the uh, pump. Cord management is complete. Oh, hey oh, We got the pump running. We got the reef link linked. We got the light set, the pump running. That looks so much cleaner. Granted, you go inside that box and it's a freaking mess, but at least Everything that's everything that's visible is kind of tidied up a little bit. The dosing pumps lined ran. Oh yeah. This guy back in here. In case I need a tie wrap anything else. I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. It was a little touch and go for a second. The little sticky light, definitely recommend. That was a little bit more challenging than I had anticipated for cord management, and that's only because I already had everything plugged up. So if you're just starting a reef tank, word to the wise, do your, word to the wise, I don't even know if that's how you properly use that. Whatever, take it from me that definitely do cord management right from the start. I know you're excited to set up a tank and everything, but just order everything to like tidy the clips up and run them against the tank and all that stuff because just do it from the start. Just, that's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. Just do it from the start. That's it for this Fish Friday. I think we're gonna be doing some frag racks next week because the frags are getting out of control in my tank. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. See you guys in the next one. Later. Yeah.